Dream Notes from 24th of September 2009. Um, this dream I've just had is very, very big. It's, there's a heap of stuff in this dream. Um, I'm going to attempt to try and recall all the major parts of it, although there is so much to it that I'm probably going to miss most of it. But um, I'll document parts that I remember, not necessarily in order. Um, one part that I remember is I was outside this stone building. Um, it was almost like a medieval type building and it had Order of the Jesuit Priests or something like that written on the outside of it. And on, I was standing outside this building, standing just outside a wall, and there was a very narrow, long window. The narrow, long window had been blocked up by a, a piece of stone that fitted in it perfectly. Um, but I could hear, despite all that, I could hear what was going on inside. And I, wasn't, I, I knew that I wasn't supposed to be hearing it, that these priests didn't want me to hear what was going on. But I could hear what was going on. Um, and what was happening was there was a ceremony going on inside with these priests. There was Freemasons inside, there was satanic activity, there was priest activity, there was church activity. It was, it was all like a, a representation of all of the, all of these things all sort of combined into one. And there was this dark, hidden, evil ceremony going on, bringing these priests into alignment with the, with the, um, with evil forces basically, um, even though they were supposed to be representing Christianity and the church, um, they were representing what has now become the world church rather than the church that Jesus Christ had, had, had envisioned, which is, um, the, the calling out of, a gathering of the called out people, um, called out to be representatives of Christ on earth. Anyway, I'm not going to try and interpret all of this, but that, uh, that was one part of the dream. There's another part of the dream where um, there was a small group of us who had been given the ability to hear and, and, dis and discern where other evil forces were coming from. We were, we were representing Jesus we were we were following him and doing the work that he'd given us and he's given us he'd given us these abilities to be able to hear and, and discern these um, opposing forces of darkness um, and these other groups were, were very very powerful but they were, they were sort of very secretive but they were high up there was there was infiltration into police forces like there, were, there was police involved in all of this um, but it became almost like a supernatural battle where we could jump up and in the air, like high onto roofs and things like that, and so could they. And, and there was this spiritual battle going on, but a physical battle at the same time. Um, and we were given these little devices where we could point at, at these other groups that we discerned were evil groups, and we could hear from a, from a distance what was going on, so we knew what they were up to and what they were doing. Um... So that was another part. There was a whole lot more to that too that I just can't remember. There was another part where um, once again I dreamed of a tsunami again. And once this is a little bit hazy, this bit, but I remember dreaming of being once again running along this, this, this beach and running up a, a cliff face and trying to get to the top and the tsunami hit before we got to the top, but we were close enough to the top that it didn't harm us. Um, it actually it swept everything else away, but it lifted us up onto the top of this landmass, so like cliff sort of thing, onto a grassy area that was safe. And once again, there was more people involved in this. It wasn't just me um, that I could see in the dream, but I can't remember details. One of the parts of this dream too, I remember, I, I don't remember which part of the dream, but one of the parts of the dream, um, I specifically remember waking up and straight away looking at the clock which I tend to do just to see what time it is. And I think it was, there was a part of this dream where I was in my old bedroom when I was little. And um, I remember being in this room and there was all these dodgy activities going on all around me. There was people that were doing drugs and there was prostitution and there was all sorts of ab horrible abominations to the Lord going on. And a lot of the people that were involved in it were people that I've known and people that I still know now. 
although they weren't, I, I don't know, maybe they some of them do, but I know some of them are involved in drugs and stuff like that, and I actually was involved with drugs with them at one point in my past, and praise Jesus for delivering me from that, and I um, pray for those that haven't been delivered yet. Um, but I was amidst all of this, and um, it was this part of the dream that I, that I remember waking up and looking at the clock. Um, there was police raids going on at the time too, and because I was in the midst of it all, I was concerned that the police were going to lock me up. You know, I was in this group trying to, to, I think, trying to get through to some of these people to awaken them to what they were doing and, and to lead them to Jesus and to show them who Jesus really is and that, that he's real and that he desires a relationship with us and he wants to free everybody from their sins so that they can spend eternity with him. Um, yeah, and I, so I was a little sort of at first a bit cautious about what was going to go on but then the caution gave way and I, I, I didn't worry about it I thought well you know I hope it doesn't matter what happens to me with these police I'm here just to share the truth of who Jesus is it doesn't matter what else happens and yeah it was that part of the dream I remember waking up from that part of the dream looked over at the clock and it was 3 16 and you now um, for those who don't know one of the most well-known passages in the Bible is John 3 16 and it speaks about whoever should, um, that, that God sent his only begotten son into the world, not to condemn the world, but to save the world. Um, now continue reading on to read John 3.17. In fact, read the whole read the whole of John 3 and you'll see that, um, that a lot of people get caught up in this whole one little passage part and think that that's what Christianity is. Christianity isn't one passage in the Bible. Christianity is a relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, Christianity is repenting from your sins and turning from them and turning to Jesus and following him and, and really following him, not just saying you're following him, but, but putting it into practice in everything you do in your life. And yes, you will be persecuted and, and yes, things will be uncomfortable and yes, you'll probably be ostracized by a lot of people in churches and other other groups and whatnot. If you found one that you're not, then praise God that there are still, still some, a very few genuine ones left. But anyway, that's not what this is all about. This What this is all about is is seeking a relationship with Jesus Christ. And the signs are all around us right now. If people don't wake up and realise that all these things that are happening in the world are nothing to do with climate change. Well, I mean, it may be climate change, but it's God's judgment. Climate change isn't man-made. Climate change has got nothing to do with carbon. It's got to do with God's judgment. Um, I won't go into it right now. This is for another YouTube video, but there was some major events in the news 23rd of September 2009 in Australia crazy weather patterns all over Australia dust storms earthquakes tornadoes damaging hail the size of cricket balls all sorts of things within a couple of days um, and it turns out that Ke Kevin Rudd our Prime Minister on the same um, day was at the G20 summit calling for the United States to um, to be leaders in this um, renewed world order as they call it um, I'll make another YouTube video about this because um, I'm running out of time here but um, have a look on on my forum in the meantime um, ozdisciples.com forward slash forum uh, the link is on the front part of my YouTube page have a look at the the, um, the Australian weather patterns one in there um, there's also one on Watchman's Cry uh, forum. If you type in Watchman's Cry Forum into Google, can't remember the exact URL, I think it's watchmanscry.com. Um, but anyway, um, there's some posts there about the sky turning red in over Sydney. Have a read through that one as well. Anyway, um, that's all I'm going to document right now. I'll go into more detail in another video. So um, God bless everybody. Stay firm in your faith and follow Jesus. Listen to his still quiet voice and seek a personal relationship with, with him continually. God bless and I'll talk to you all again soon in another video.